Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Daily Motion, and Twitter. This is Sis Rich again for your second video blog of the day for Saturday, February 21st, 2015, around 3.56 p.m. in Barrican, Massachusetts. It's snowing again. What else is new? It's about 28 degrees, so it could be a little wet snow, maybe three to six inches in the area that iced and rain. Tomorrow's supposed to be 40 degrees, but it's not going to be that great. And then cold again, and chances of snow this upcoming week. What else is new? Stuck in this weather pattern. It's just cold and snow, cold and snow. Going to be the coldest February on record, and the snowiest February on record. No warm ups in sight, maybe into March. And there's no news to report, so that's good. The next subject is about the MBTA Blue Line. The MBTA Blue Line has roughly, on average, about 63,000 passengers a day. It's part of the Boston um, Rapid Transit subway system. It goes from Bowdoin in, in that, and like Government Center in Boston, Bowdoin Station, to Revere, the Wonderland near Revere Beach, and it's the name it's named for, for the blue line because it goes under the boston harbor and, and the ocean's blue so they named it the blue line in 1965. the 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 like the the blue line was built in the early 20th century underneath the sub underneath boston harbor it was the first like subway system in the united states to go under an ocean that's interesting facts. Originally, they were going to build the blue line to Lynn, but the funding only had it to terminate at Revere Beach. And there's been many chances of expanding it to Lynn. I'll talk about that when I when I tell you all the stations a little later. The, the blue line starts in Bowdoin, and it's Bowdoin is used mainly from 5.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night, weeknights only, but with like government center closed down in 2016 for the blue and green lines, they have to use Bowdoin as a terminating stop on weekends and holidays as long as, as long as weekdays. And then it goes to government center, which you could get off the green, transfer to the green line or go up to City Hall in Boston, but that's closed down. That's not an option until 2016. And then the next stop is State Street, where you could get off and take a connection to the Orange Line, and then some buses, and then go down a little further. The next stop is Aquarium. You could get off and take a bus, or take a Boston Harbor cruise in the warmer weather months, or the ferries, the MBTA ferries, and the New England New England aquariums down there. Then it's now about, and then the next one is about seven, eight minutes, and you go under the Boston Harbor, and then you come up to the next stop, which is Mavericks Station, which is in East Boston, and you get off, you could get off there and take to some bus connections, and also that area like Maverick Square is like Central Square in Boston. And then it goes out into the open air, and then it gets to the airport station. At this time, the train briefly stops. It shoots, shoot, it shuts down for about a few seconds to convert the power from the third rail to an overhead thing for the cables because it runs on the cable power. And then when you get off at airport station, you could take a shuttle bus to Logan Airport and stuff. And then it continues on into East Boston. And the next stop is Wood Island. You could get off at Woodland Island and take some bus connections. And also, when you start there, you could see the harbor and you could see Winthrop and you could see Deer Island. It's a pretty scene and stuff like pretty scene in the summer. And you could continue to go over. You go under 145. And then the next one is Orient Heights Station. Orient Heights Station is in East Boston. You could get off there. There's some nice restaurants in Orient Heights section of East Boston. I've never eaten at these restaurants, but these been some of them. Some of them are pretty good, and especially like Kelly's Pub, where Eddie Anderman, the longtime godfather of sports talk radio in Boston, always has lunch at Kelly's Pubs, and they have pizza there. So I recommend if you're in that area, go ha have Kelly's Pub. 
and stuff like that. And there's also bus connections for the MBTA and there's a bus connection power via transportation that goes to Winthrop. And then you continue on. And also the, the blue line shops are there for like fixing the trains and stuff like that. And sometimes they just terminate at Orient, Orient Heights when there's like a major project going on for the other stations come up forwards and they stop there so they turn and turn around and there's shuttle buses for the rest of them if they have to do that and then the next station is Suffolk Downs on the East Boston Revere line that used used to be the horse racing track there people will go there to see the horses but since Suffolk Downs is closed that's probably not going to be used as a too much pe people get off there and that's probably uh, going to be kind of a dead stop and it continues on you could buy the, the racetrack and up into Revere and the next stop is Beachmont you could take a um, can, like a bus connection there but Beachmont is a hardly used stop not too many um, passengers get on and off there there's been rumors that they might be eliminating Beachmont station and you go underneath 145 and into a Vier beach you can see the ocean and stuff nice scene at route and the host of the condos and you come up to Revere beach station you could get off you could go to the beach there eat at some of the places or you could take a bus connection and then you go a little more further you could see route 1a you could see the old um Wonderland Shopping Center, which at one time had a stop and shop and a blockbuster videos and Marsh, Marshalls and Staples. I think Marshalls and Staples are still there. And then the last stop is Wonderland, where at one time they had the Wonderland Greyhound track and they built, we built up um, parking garage there, which has been pretty awesome. And then you could get off, take bus connections, or you could walk to a via beach walk down a half mile and there's Kelly's Rose Beef. It's a half mile walk from the Wonderland train station. And that's the current terminus for um, the blue line. And they say no passengers please. They want everybody off the train because it makes a loop and then comes back inbound. They don't want passengers on it because if they catch you, you could get fined and arrested for kind of trespassing. But I've seen some, some people sleep on the train and they don't get up and they don't catch them. And when I take it, sometimes when I used to take an inbound train from Wonderland, I still see them, some of the passengers. It's a free ride. They're not supposed to have free rides in the MBTA. And uh, and, and there's been rumors for, that the, they want to extend the blue line to Central Square and Lynn. And this proposal has been up for many, many years. They try to get funding for it, but the federal government gave funding for the blue line, I mean, the green line extension project to go to some of our method and also the funding for the South Coast Rail expansion of the MBTA commuter rail that goes to New Bedford and Fall River. And there's no money available for the blue line extension to Lynn. And there's talk, there's this two proposals that were on the table. One was going to use the right of way of the Newburyport, Rockport commuter rail line, and there was another one that's gonna was gonna cut through the Points of Pines and onto a like a bridge for the Saugus River and go into Lynn. And Points of Pine was gonna be a station, and then Central Square Lynn was gonna be a station. If if the blue line ever gets built into Lynn, that would be a big boom for Lynn because you could have a lot of people who live in Lynn could take the, the subway to Boston without taking the commuter rail, which is a commuter rail station in Lynn. And, but I don't see the blue line ever going into Lynn anytime soon. Uh, one, anytime soon, the MBTA has to get its lines in order with all of this upgrading equipment and station renovation, stuff like that. And also there was been a proposal to extend the blue line from Bowdoin Station to Charles MGH, Massachusetts General Hospital, to meet up with the red line because the red line and blue line do not connect one, one of these, one of these, one, uh, they do not connect for a direct connection. And there's been talk about that for many years, but the funding, they don't have the funding for that. And 
and it would be it would be a pretty good boom if they did that because pe people could use a red line if they're coming from our wife if they want to use the blue line to go to the airport or the beach they can make a con direct connection at charles mgh without going to um the green line park street or downtown crossing or if people are coming up from braintree they don't have to use the, the, the orange line and green line connections they could go to like charles mgh but that's probably not going to happen anytime soon because they just don't have the funding they have they have like probably the station ready in place for that but they don't have the funding for it and it's, it's disappointing but the mbta needs to get stuff fixed and that's about it on the blue line i used to take the blue line a lot if when i when i went to boston for to, at events at suffolk downs or at revere beach or wonderland or whatever it's a good 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 um trip and stuff like that and that's about it on that i'll be back later facebook youtube daily motion twitter final video blog of the night which will be about um the future of major league baseball in tampa bay and oakland the a's and rays need new ballparks to survive in those markets or else they'll have to move have a good night now i mean have a good afternoon facebook youtube daily motion and twitter see you tonight